Hey guys, as you can tell from how I said hey guys, I'm coming to you with a not so fun video. Well, I wouldn't say it's not fun, it's just I legitimately don't know what else to do. As you can tell by the title, I have COVID. Yep, it's true. Even saying those words makes, makes me like, ugh. Last week, I hung out with someone who this week tested positive. A couple days ago, I got tested. And then last night, I got my results back. And I filmed when I got my results back. I don't know why I did it, because it was also really late at night and I had no one to talk to because I was up and so late. And they like sent my results at like 2 a.m. So yes, so here's that. So it is currently 1.30 in the morning and I couldn't sleep. So I checked my phone and I got an email with my results and I am positive for COVID. It's really late and no one is up and I kind of am feeling really sad. <laughs> I feel like I failed. I live with my parents who are older and I like brought COVID into the house and I feel really bad. And I have no one to talk to right now. <laughs> So I'm just sitting here and very much panicking. Physically, I feel fine. Like I don't even have a fever. Like I have some chest issues happening right now, like muscle aches, but that's it. I don't know. I'm just like kind of panicking and I don't know what to do. <sighs> God. This is how easy it is to get it. I've been so careful and I still got it. I don't know, I'm just kind of like in shock right now because it's just getting worse. Like this pandemic is getting worse. It's hitting closer and closer to home. Ugh. I can't believe I did this. So I have to quarantine for 10 days. And as you guys know, I live with my parents. So I'm quarantining upstairs, not going downstairs. I thought I would vlog, I don't know. And there's literally, I don't know what else to do. As of right now, I don't have any crazy symptoms. I have some chest stuff going on. I'm kind of like a coffee person. Like I kind of already have like asthma. So I don't know if it's like my normal coughing or COVID coughing. So yeah, I'm not going downstairs in the next 10 days. But here's my brekkie. My mom made it for me. Thanks mom. Um, I went to the grocery store like right before I found out I was exposed, which sucks. I saw that they had just egg, which is the plant-based egg, which looks like real egg. So this is that. And then I have some um, Beyond sausage patties and then toast. And so I'm gonna do a taste test. <gasps> my taste. I totally forgot about that. I wonder if I... Okay, let's try it. I mean, I had coffee this morning. It was fine. Did y'all just hear how I fully chomped on that egg like it was a brick? That is weird. I don't know if I like that. Ooh, I don't like that, but I'm gonna eat it. I think I have my taste and my smell. Yeah. I have my smell. <laughs> yeah, the eggs taste funky. Like this consistency is really good for fake eggs. Basically, how I got COVID. Here's the thing. Mmm. Toast. <laughs> Even saying the words I have COVID makes me feel shameful and icky. I know I shouldn't feel that way, but I do. I went and saw a friend at their home. They flew in got a test a couple days later and was negative so obviously i was under the impression that okay cool like they're negative i'm safe their parents both work from home they don't go anywhere so i felt safe i felt i honestly felt safe it just happened i don't know it just happened i also just want to add i think it was one of those cases where it was undetectable because there's a period where you can have covid but it can show up as a negative test it was probably just not done marinating in her system i don't really know regardless i have it someone's fault just happened and i'm here living hopefully i'm doing some work today for a client and then after that i think i'm just gonna like rest i just never thought i would get it to be honest because of how safe i was as you guys know i live with my parents so that is my number one concern currently is oh my god like i've been around my parents let me show you let me give you like a timeline wednesday night i found out i was exposed 
The following morning I went and got tested. So from Monday to like Wednesday, I was like around my parents. We don't like hug or like kiss or anything like that, but hopefully it's fine. My parents feel fine and I'm trying to just stay in good spirits, but I don't really care about me as much as I care about them. Oh, <sighs> what a way to start off the new year, am I right? <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm gonna finish eating, send this client project off, and then sit. Maybe I'll sit. Maybe go lay in my bed. Maybe I'll sit in my office. Yeah, I might do that. Also, I don't have Waffle up here with me, which makes me really upset because it's just too much to like keep going up and down to like feed him, take him out. So my parents are just doing that and... Oh. Hello. I'm watching, I was recommended Bridgerton. I don't, am I saying that right? Bridgerton? Bridgerton. And I'm watching that now. The eight close-knit siblings of the Bridgerton family look for love and happiness in London's high society. Hello. <laughs> I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. Here's some B-roll of me watching TV, I guess. So it's nighttime now. I took a nap. I watched that show Brigger Trend. Brigger. Bigger. Anyways, I thought I'd show you the haul. Got some emergency. Thought I would just start taking a multivitamin. <laughs> I don't know. Just thought this might be a good time. And then I got some Pedialyte. Um, anyways, I don't know what this vlog is gonna be. Should I just continue watching Brigger Trend? Wait, what is it called? Bridgerton. <laughs> I think a video might be going up next week of something that I filmed last week. So if it looks like I'm out and about, it's not. I'll probably have to put a disclaimer. Pre-COVID diagnosis. Um, so yeah. Okay, cheerio loves. Cheerios. Uh, got a little question for you. You wanna check out the fit? Sweater. Gorge. Pants with holes. <laughs> and slippers. Wow. <laughs> Hello, I'm playing Jeopardy with my bays from across the way, uh, that rhymed. Uh, peep the score though, I am winning, I am winning. So basically we FaceTime while we play Jeopardy. Um, it's really fun and we're playing it on our switches. I'm winning for the first time ever. These bitches always beat me. Azure, can you please say hi? I'm, I'm in the zone. I just bought this and I can't. I took a sip and it's just not good. I really don't feel good and I know it's gonna make me feel better. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. I can't do uh, this. This is the most dramatic thing. I know, I'm so dramatic. So oh my God. Okay, what? Yeah! She took like a fourth of it. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I mean, listen, I got like almost half done. I'm shaking. <laughs> I'm shaking. Just two big sips. Don't. Ugh. I have very sensitive uh, esophageal issues. My esophagus is very uh, sensitive. <laughs> One more big sip. Come on. One more. One more. Don't taste it. Just do it. Just do it. Don't let it. Don't. <laughs> okay, a little bit left. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> I got to go excuse myself. I'm sweating. Hello everyone. So it is the next morning and I woke up pretty coffee and like my chest kind of hurts just from coughing. And I'm already a coffee person, so I'm not sure if that's something to be concerned about, but I thought I would end the vlog here because I don't really know what else to do. I'm not really sure what this video was. Oh God, I look great. I look great. Please be safe. COVID is very real. Please wear a mask. Please continue social distance. Um, yeah, that's really all I can say. As far as the video schedule goes for this week, at least, I don't really know. <laughs> I really just want to take it easy. want to rest, obviously. So that's my number one priority. Um, I love you all. Thank you for all the well wishes on my other socials. I'm just going to basically focus on me. Give me some me time. Yeah, this is girl boss. This is a girl boss. This is a girl boss moment. I'm gonna focus on me. 2021, the year of me. Me. Okay. Bye!